Ilse Koch, The Witch of Buchenwald. Margaret Ilse Kerle was born on 22nd September 1906 in Dresden, Saxony, German Empire. Known as a polite and happy child in her elementary school. At the age of 15, she enrolled in an accountancy school. She began working as a bookkeeping clerk at a time when Germany's economy had not yet recovered from the defeat of World War I. She joined the Nazi party in 1932. Hitler's ideology was appealing to the German people because it seemed to provide solutions to the numerous problems facing Germany after the defeat of the World War I. In 1934, she met Karl Otto Koch, and the two began their relationship. In 1936, she began working as a guard and secretary at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp where Karl Koch was the commandant of the Sachsenhausen camp. The couple got married the same year, and she changed her name to Ilse Koch. In 1937, Karl Koch was transferred to Buchenwald concentration camp as commandant near Weimar, Germany. It was one of the first and the largest of the concentration camps within Germany. Ilse moved to Buchenwald concentration camp became an SS of Zerin at the camp. She took the liberty to do whatever she wanted. Ilse and her husband enjoyed a lavish lifestyle. She built an indoor sports arena where she could ride her horses, which cost 250,000 Reichsmarks, approximately $62,500, using money stolen from prisoners. Witnesses recalled that Ilse Koch was known for riding her horse with whip in hand through the camp, whipping, beating, and abusing any prisoner. She would ride through the camp and select specific prisoners with tattooed skin, and then killed the prisoners and made lampshades, book covers, gloves, and other household items from their tattooed skins. She earned several nicknames at the concentration camp, such as the Witch of Buchenwald, the Beast of Buchenwald, the Queen of Buchenwald, the Red Witch of Buchenwald, the Butcher's Widow. In 1941, Karl Koch was transferred to the Maidinic concentration and extermination camp near Lublin. Ilse remained at Buchenwald, where it was rumored that she was having an affair with the SS doctor Wardemar Hoven at Buchenwald, and later Arthur Flostad, commandant of Maidanic camp. On 24th August 1943, Ilse and Karl Koch were arrested on charges of corruption, embezzlement and murder of prisoners, stealing large quantities of jewelry, cash, other valuables from the prisoners in the camp. The camp's profit that should have gone to the SS. Karl Koch was convicted and sentenced to death by an SS court in Munich, and was executed by firing squad on 5th April 1945 in the camp he once commanded. Ilse Koch was acquitted due to lack of evidence. She then lived with her family in Ludwigsburg town, but she was recognized by a Buchenwald camp survivor on the Ludwigsburg street and was arrested by Allied forces on 30th June 1945. Ilse Koch tried at Buchenwald trial before the American military court at Dachau. She announced that she was eight months pregnant, but refused to name the father. But it was rumored that he was an American interrogator or a German prisoner. Ilse Koch was sentenced to imprisonment for violating the laws and customs of war on 19th August 1947. Two years after her conviction, the sentence was reduced to four years by General Lutzius de Clay, on the grounds that there was no convincing evidence that she had selected prisoners for extermination in order to secure tattooed skins or that she possessed any articles made of human skin. It was absolutely proven that the lampshades were made out of goat skin. There was an uproar when the sentence was reduced but Clay stood firm 
by his decision. Under public pressure, Ilse Koch was rearrested in 1949 and tried in a West German court. At least four witnesses for the prosecution testified that they had seen Ilse Koch two statute prisoners who were then killed or had seen or been involved in the process of making human skin lampshades from tattooed skin. However, this charge was dropped by the prosecution because they could not prove that the lampshades or any other items were made from human skin. She was convicted of incitement to murder and was sentenced to life imprisonment at hard labor and permanent confiscation of her civil rights on 15th January 1951. During her time in prison, she petitioned for appeals several times, but was always dismissed and even protested to the International Human Rights Commission, but was rejected. Ilse and Karl Koch, one son, committed suicide after the war, because he could not live with the shame of his parents' crimes. Another son, Yui, whose father was unknown, was born while Ilse was imprisoned. She became pregnant while in prison in Dachau. Yui learned that Ilse was his mother and began visiting her often over the next several years at Eichen prison, where she was serving a life sentence. On 1st September 1967, Ilse Koch committed suicide by hanging herself with a bedsheet at Akek Women's Prison at the age of 60. She experienced delusions and had become convinced that the survivors of the concentration camp would torture her in her cell. Her body was buried in an unmarked grave in the cemetery of the women's prison in Akek, Germany. The lampshades were never recovered and many historians doubt their existence. After his mother's suicide, Yui launched a campaign tried to change people's attitudes towards Ilse Koch. Three different courts could not convict her of major crimes and no one was found guilty of ordering the execution of prisoners for their tattooed skin. He hoped to bring about a posthumous rehabilitation for his mother.